Hello and welcome to your video. Today we're going to take a look at the top teams for the Great League. I haven't done a video for the Great League for ages, so I kind of wanted to make a top team video anyway. As we have the Go Battle Weekend coming up, where most people are going to play in the Great League, because otherwise we have the XL50 Master League and the Ultra League available, which is not really the fan favorite. I kind of wanted to make a team about the top five best teams and also two very toxic teams that you can run that gives you a very fast battle. So... Stay tuned for those, let's go right into the teams. The first team we're going to take a look at is going to be this uh, Rackland team where we have uh, the Stunfest in the lead and the Sable as a safe swap with the Rackland in the back. You can also run Reggie Steel in the lead if you really want to. The thing with this team is you want something in the lead that can beat stuff like fire types. Here, like it's kind of awkward a little bit still, but it should be fine. Um, and also something that beats, for example, flyers. And flyers are something that you cannot beat whatsoever with your Rakunet, so it's really good to have this in the lead. Um, also, Stunfisk, very really weak to fighting type moves. Both of your Pokemon in the back can resist this. Also, um, Sableye can get out the Charm users because Charm users also usually a little bit tricky to deal with the Arachnid as they resist the um, Bug Bite and the Bug Buzz. So, this team is really, really good. I played this basically immediately when Arachnid came out and it worked like so, so, so well. I know that, that a lot of people had this core around them in the regional tournaments and the international tournaments for the Pokemon Go Championships, so like this team definitely works and this team is really really good, so I can highly recommend it to you. The next team gonna be uh, based around the core of Diggers B and Cresselia. Cresselia you can really easily get from like research if you did it like I think a year ago around like uh, one and a half year ago was in a research with Grass Knot available uh, below level 20, but otherwise you can also trade with friends for it. It's basically like um, the Tapu Fini in terms of rarity and to, like for trading, so it's a little bit tricky to get, but not really that tricky. Most people have a Cresselia. And then you have the Diggers in the back, and those two together are really, really nice as a core. Also really nice in the current meta, like Diggers B is very underrated than like you might think. You have already have like the access to Fire Punch, which actually helps you a lot in the matchup against Trevenant, which makes the matchup pretty, pretty decent even for you, I think, because you can resist the fast move of the Trevenant pretty easily. And of course, Seed Bomb is not the best move and you're way, way bulkier than Trevenant. While Cresselia has access to Grass Node, which is going to be a very nice against other opponents. Warrens as a safe swap against Sableye. If you don't have a Sableye, you can use Warren as well. And this team is really, really solid. I used this core in my um, draft league tournament, which we did there, YouTuber draft league tournament, which I won. And yeah, like it's it just a really decent core. The third team is basically a team that has been around since the poison buff. Nido Queen is just one of the best Pokemon, especially with the shadow version of this Pokemon. It's just so insane. We have a say swap here, possibly either the XL Sableye or the XL Lickitang. There's not really anything else that's really good. You can also run theoretically, I think, the Ambryon if you don't have the XL Pokemon, which would work also still fine ish. Like, it definitely can work. It's not the best, but it can work. And we have in the back this Grafty. Like, the Nido Queen plus Grafty core is just so insane, as you're gonna be able to resist the Psychic type moves that usually would damage the Nido Queen with the S Grafty, while Grafty doesn't really want to. Uh, go up against other fighting type Pokemon, so you have the Nido Queen to K KO other fighting type Pokemon. It's just such a nice core, and it's just such an insane team that always works, and you will always see it, unless Niantic gonna do something to maybe drop poison types again, or make dark types a little bit less viable. But right now, this is like such a good team. Like it's, it's, it's just really, really good. But I don't think actually poison or darks are either a problem right now in the meta, so I hope that they stay like this. This next team is most likely the team that I like the most right now, in the main Great League meta. This is actually the team that I also used during the Go Fist, where like there was like the battleground way where I have to go for three wins in a row to win a t-shirt. And I did this on my first try with this team with Tabo Fini in the lead, the Sableye the Swap, and the Shadow Marek in the back. This team is so so good, it's like so worth the tail. Um, it's kind of similar to a team that the old Tactical did, like Season 1 or something, but now we got like upgrades with the Shadow um, Marowak, we have like better return Sableyes available thanks to the XL Kenny bonus, we have better Zermal available, and we also have the Tapu Fini available. All of those Pokemon kind of got an upgrade, which makes this team really, really viable again after it kind of dipped over the last few seasons. So, like, yeah, this team is definitely back again, and this team is really, really fun to use, and I really enjoyed using it. 
And yeah, like it's it's just good. It's just really good. The final really good team here. We're gonna have Scrafty in the lead. We have the Skarmory in the back, something that you don't really see that often anymore, even though I think it has a lot of potential. Beating stuff also like the Trevenant, even though Shadow Ball gonna be a little bit awkward. But also stuff like the Nido Queen, which is really, really cool and it's like neutral against a lot of things, and only really the Reggie Steel is a little bit tricky for this thing. So like yeah, like this Pokemon has a lot of potential as well. I played this team, I think, one or two seasons ago. I stole this from House Stark, who also just hit Legend in the Kanto Cup while I'm recording this. So, like, a very good player. And this team worked really, really well. I used the Shadow version of the Drapion with Sludge Bomb and Crunch. And I only went positive with this team when I used it. So, I think this team should still work. Definitely doesn't, does make sense a lot as well here. We have again uh, something in the lead that is really not want to see any fighter or fairy type Pokemon, while both of them kind of don't really want to face the Skarmory in the back, while having a kind of neutral say swap, which can actually deal pretty well also with the Sable Eyes, or Sable Eyes which are going to be like everywhere. And also, it's basically the hardest answer to other Trevenants, which is kind of cool, while your entire team kind of hard towards Trevenants. So yeah, that's going to be it for the top five teams. Let's go for two more Degen teams that you really don't want to face, at least. Yeah, and now we're going to go to the teams that you don't really want to face. We have the Victory Bell in the lead. Shadow Victory Bell is the thing that you need. You don't really want the normal one, to be honest. You have the say swaps here, either the Deoxys Defense or the Vigoroth. I think the Vigoroth is a little bit better in my opinion actually, but Deoxys Defense is also fine. It really depends on what you want to run. And then in the back you can either run the Bastion, the Registeel or the Stunfisk. All of them are pretty pretty decent. All of them have like some kind of decent-ish matchup then against other stuff. But mainly your goal here in the lead, um, save your shields for the Victory Bell. The Victory Bell gonna love it and can just farm down everything that doesn't resist the Grass-type moves and also has like access to Leaf Blade and the Acid Spray which is kinda broken. Um, then you have a swap that can deal with steel types and then you have a steel type in the back that can also deal with steel types. I'm not really the biggest fan anymore of the um, Bastion in the back, so I think the both answers that you see here on the screen are the best for this team. It's definitely a team that you should get you pretty fast to some words because just Victory Bell can sweep through a lot of teams and yeah, it's definitely a good team still at this day. I don't really want to use it, but here you go, and the next team gonna be even worse. Hell yeah. The final team, most likely the team you can get your battles done the quickest, is of course Double Charm. This thing is around for ages now. You can either run the Digger Spin in the lead or the Swampert in the lead. Also, something like a Stunfest in the lead would definitely make sense. I think Digger Speed is the best here. And then you have most likely the Wigglytuff and the A9 in the back. The A9 is most likely your better say so well. Wigglytuff most likely better in the back, depending on what you're gonna encounter. Um, but also, like, you can also flip it around, actually. Like, it really depends on what you encounter in the lead and how you want to say swap so with this team. Of course, ABB line, so if you encounter a neutral lead, you want to swap out. And yeah, like, double charm, what can I say? Not really that creative. I know that some people are already when to legend this season with double charm so it is still definitely really good especially as there are a lot of pokemon around that are weak to charm like the sable i like the scrafty all of those dark type pokemon so yeah this team is sadly still very very good and still very very deadly so if you want to use it go for it otherwise it's gonna be it for the video i hope you're gonna enjoy the 40 battles you can play this weekend with five times more starters which is gonna be amazing which i'm definitely gonna grind out completely as i need more starters right now and also enjoy the shadow event which is gonna come up as well where we're gonna definitely try to take a look at the shadow ladios in a few hours from now on so be stay, stay tuned for this and see you in the next video bye